Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Fantasy Star for the end of the millennium. And when last we left off, Alice and co are working their way up Zeo's fortress so we can eventually get to the top, where I imagine there'll be some controls that will get rid of the force field, allowing us to go into the basement area, where the true fortress will begin. Or maybe that won't happen. Either way, we need to now head up this sinister looking carpet and find an encounter with two Shadow Sabers and a Ripper. Priority is to get rid of the Ripper here, and we want to use... No, we actually don't want to use any uh, technical points here. Apart from you, we want you to use a technical point or two. We want you to make everyone faster so that we act before they do. A apart from this round, where we won't act before they do, but I'm sure that we will later. They defend themselves, and one attack there on Chaz, that's fine. A crit there, goodbye Ripper. Now we can focus on taking care of these two quite safely, getting our attacks before them. Hopefully. That's one attack there for 52, 4, and hopefully this is over. Very nearly. 59 and 48. Goodbye, enemies. Hello, experience and Masetta. And hello, level for Grizz. Not bad at all. Up the sinister carpet we go! And there is a boss fight if ever I've seen one. It's somebody in the robes of the Church of Zeo in Zeo's fortress. I highly doubt they're going to want to uh, offer us tea and biscuits, so we're going to be doing some healing. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe they'll be like, ah, welcome to Zeo's fortress, sit down. Can I get you some biscuits and tea? And then I go, oh, biscuits and tea of death, and then the biscuits and tea kill us. But no, I think we're just going to have to do some healing here and see what monologue this person gives us before we fight them. Is this a boss? Let's find out. You are... I am Yuza. You will never get near Zeo unless you defeat me. I have one line of dialogue and I'm a boss fight. Look at how I glow sinister and red. The color of evil. We're going to have to do some buffing before we fight in this encounter. Yes, indeed, it's buff time. We're going to buff Chaz's attack with shift. We're going to have Chaz do an attack with crosscut. You're going to buff yourself with war cry. This should improve your attack. You're going to use a uh, what here. And you are going to buff everyone's speed so that next round, hopefully, we do all of our actions before the boss does. We don't know what the boss can do, though at a guess, Probably some kind of spellcaster. Speed up! Marvelous. Okay, that is indeed magic, and that was really pathetic magic. Remember, Alice can shrug off being on fire. Alice doesn't care. War cry there. Attack power up. Excellent. Now we want to start using our attacks. A vortex here. Another crosscut. We want a, uh, let's see, you'll just attack. You'll use what? And I want you to use Deban and buff everyone's defense power. It may not work against magic, but it's worth a try. Vortex marvelous. Crosscut for 173. Wow. A little bit of strategy goes a long way to making the team that much more durable. Okay, we want you to do this again. You, I think we'll have you use one more crosscut. This is probably the only boss here, so we might as well use all of our resources. We need to use them to ensure we don't die. We don't want anyone to lose uh, experience. At least I think people lose experience if they're uh, unconscious when the combat ends. I think it's time for you to use a double slash. Marvelous. 122, that's really impressive. We're dealing out tons of damage. The enemy cannot go. Will we be victorious though? Let's find out and see what he can actually do. Okay, that's an area of effect attack. We need to be mindful of that. Nobody really took that much damage though, so I'm just going to carry on with what we were doing. Attacks, usage of what, and I think a uh, double slash. Marvelous. Everyone being so much faster is just so much more useful than uh, being able to defend as a uh, first uh, round spell. Because sure, you can defend against the attacks, but if you go before they do, you could kill them before they actually do anything. Also, that was another really pathetic attack. That fire spell is not that useful. You should really stick with the uh, area of effect ability. We don't have the ability to heal area of effect damage right now. We may do, but not right now. Vortex there. 
71, four double slashing. 123, and my lucky number secures the victory. Lots of experience, lots of Masetta, Alice gains a level up. Brilliant. And learnt a technique. Magical stairs appear. Let's go up, shall we? And see what we can find up here. Anything? Any encounters? Nothing at all, it would seem. Just some stairs. Leading? Not to controls, but that's likely Demi. Let's rescue her quickly. We need to rescue her and then get out of here and go to Nervous. Watch that. Somebody's been captured. It's Demi. How do you know that? I just do, trust me. We've got to rescue her. Rescue initiated. Who, who are you? Alice Brangwyn and company. Thank you very much. You are all injured, are you not? Allow me. It's the least I can do to show my gratitude. Huh? I feel strength welling inside of me. That is life-giving water. Really? No, it is my magic. It's my medical power. That's not even magic. Androids cannot use magic. My name is Demi, and I am in charge of controlling Nervous. Phew! I heard she was supposed to be an android, but this is beyond my expectations. She's no different than a human being. Apart from the ears. Okay, that's one difference. Be that as it may. Demi, can you stop the transmission of energy to the system that's malfunctioning? You're the only one who can do it, right? Yes, I too have tried to freeze the entire system, but... Go no further. Oh, I think we're in trouble. Who's that? You know who that is. That voice. It's Zeo. We're in deep trouble. Wh what is this? I feel... This incredible menace. We're in deep trouble. Zeo, you son of a... Watch your tongue, son. So you thought you would sneak in while the owner's out, eh? You little sneak thief. Take a look at your own evil self before you dare put us down. Think about all you've done. Hmm. So I've wrought damage to Matavia. What's wrong with eliminating worms? Worms? You dare call us worms? Remember, I'm evil. On the Batland scale of evil, I'm definitely an 8 out of 10. You... you... I cannot forgive you! <laughs> now, now. That's the expression I want to see. A face filled with pain and anguish, begging fearfully for help. A face quivering with anger. Go on, get angry, suffer, be sad. That would truly be the ultimate offering to me and my great god. Your god? Son of a... Blast, come on! Let's go, everyone! This is a terrible idea, Chaz! Remember Rune's warning. Do not face Zeo. Run while you still can! Use your magic to escape the dungeon! Do it now! It's not gonna get better. Wait, Chaz. Zeo, do you understand what's going on? If we don't stop the systems that are running out of control, Matavia itself is going to become uninhabitable. You must let Demi... Total annihilation of life. What a fine thing. Oh god. Remember, I am evil. And insane. Death to all that lives. Destruction to all that has form. So your church. I care not for them. They are worms just like you. That is indeed my desire. That's crazy! My god will not tolerate any life forms in Algo. Everything must be wiped out. And I, with these very hands, will do just that. That means you yourself will be gone too! If my god wishes that to be so, that is also my wish. This music, by the way, sinister, evil, brilliant. Perfectly portrays how horribly evil Zeo is. You... you're out of your mind! Fun and games are over with. Uh-oh, he means business. Anyone who dares get in my way shall perish. My humble self, who has taken it upon myself to do the wish of my god, shall destroy thee. Oh, the greatest, my one and only ultimate god, Dark Force! That is a name we're going to have to remember for later. Dark Force? If we live.
boss time! Magical barrier, and everything about this so far is cool. The backdrop is cool, the boss music is cool, the fact that that gem is glowing with power in the uh, Zio's uh, cloak thing is also cool. The fact that we're fighting Zio is anything but cool, we are in some serious trouble. But maybe we can salvage this, maybe we can beat back Zio and escape, or maybe we can just run away. Let's see what we can do. Vortex? We don't have any more crosscut, so let's uh, just do, uh, let's see, an air slash will do? Let's try a, uh, this ability here. We'll try what? And we'll also try a speed buff. Let's see, uh, there we go, let's do, uh, this one. Magic there. We have our own power, though! Excellent. One. 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 Okay, we may have bitten off more than we could chew here, and by more than we can chew, I mean there was no way we could possibly chew it ever. We are in some serious trouble. But magic seems to work, so let us try some more magical-like attacks. You have this, we can use that. You're just gonna have to attack, you're gonna do this. Uh, buff our defense, just in case? This attack is going to hurt. I think Sio is powering up for something really fearsome. Maybe we can chip down that magical barrier, though. Maybe. Just maybe. So I think it's safe to say that Zeo has some true magic. Some true, terrifying magic. Okay, you're gonna use this attack. You're gonna use this attack. You're going to use... let's see... You can't do anything right now, so we'll have you defend. You're going to use this attack, and you're going to defend right now. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's bad. That's really bad. Is that the god you were referring to? Let's run! I think running right now is a brilliant idea. Discretion is the better part of valor. Let's go. We cannot escape. Oh. Jazz, careful! Gah! Alice? We're in trouble! Oh, you could say that again. Please don't. You're in serious bother. We'd better make a temporary retreat. I said you should have done that from the beginning! I think you're right. Magical way! We... we've lost. Oh, yes you have. I called that a long time ago. You should never have even tried to fight Zeo. Blast it! Chaz, it's no good. Even Girez won't repair Alice's wounds. No! Alice! We better return to my village, Chaz. Alice. <laughs> She'll be alright. I'm sure she will be. Hopefully. Please be alright. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Alice. I have no idea what these symptoms are. It appears she isn't getting any better. That's Zeo. There was something different about him from other enemies I've fought. She refuses everything. It's as if she's... possessed by some evil power. I'm sure there's a medical reason for what's going on. No, it's definitely an evil power. <sighs> Damn you! Zeo, you devil! Can we save her if we shut down Nervous? No, that won't work. Nervous is located in the basement of Zeo's fort. Actually, Zeo has erected his fort on top of Nervous. I basically said the same thing twice, but with a slight amount of different context. Oh, below that invisible barrier! So we'll have to defeat Zeo after all. I... if only Rune were here. Alice, don't talk. Rune should know. Some way to do it. Alice, don't worry. We'll defeat Zeo somehow. Now, listen. With what we have right now, there's no way we can win. We've got to do something about Zeo's magic barrier. Magic barrier? Magic. That magic. That sort of thing should have ceased to exist a thousand years ago. Come to think of it, Rune was indeed using some kind of magic. Something called Flaley. That's right. So if you can get the cooperation of... Rune... Ugh! Alice... Chaz, who is Rune? Oh, he's a disgusting, conceited jerk. Now is not the time to be holding grudges, uh, Chaz. Alice's life is at stake here. 
I hate to admit it, but we may have no choice but to ask for his help. Didn't Rune go off somewhere with Grandfather Doran? If he's with Grandfather Doran, perhaps he's gone to the Ladea Tower. Because he was saying something about opening the gates to the Ladea Tower. What's the Ladea Tower? I'm not quite sure myself, but I hear it's located on a small island beyond the quicksand in the east. Grandfather Doran said that something important is there. How are we going to get across the quicksand? How did Rune and Grandfather Doran do it? That's beyond me. Probably that's where magic comes into play. Don't worry, leave it to me. There's the Land Rover. The Land Rover? What's that? Exactly what it sounds like. It's a dog? Technology has regressed substantially in a thousand years. Do you mean to say there's still a Land Rover in existence? Yes, absolutely. A Land Rover is an all-purpose armor-plated car of an ancient civilization. With a Land Rover, crossing quicksand is nothing. If we go to the Machine Center directly south of here, I'm sure we'll find one. A Machine Center? Is there such a place? If you come with me, you'll see. Okay, in that case, let's hurry and get going. Will you stay here, Han? What? Uh, but... We want you to remain here and look after Alice. Also, you have a cute girlfriend here. That has nothing to do with taking care of Alice, you know. Uh, but... Alice, I'm sure we'll find Rune. J Jazz. Han, take good care of Alice. Things are not going so well, but we do have Demi in our party now. She is an android, and all androids in this uh, setting cannot use magic of any variety. Which is why when I said that uh, she was using magic, I corrected myself for it being some sort of power. Because, as we'll look at uh, her state, if we go to status and demi, no mental stat at all, which means no affinity with magic. All of her abilities will be skills rather than techniques. Let us go and have a conversation with these three. What on earth is this illness she has? I've never seen anyone seem to be in so much pain. It's almost amazing she's still conscious. She really is strong-willed. Oh, that she is. Alice, you've got to make it. Yes, you do. You're the main protagonist. You've got to make it. Oh, Chaz, don't look so miserable. Ah, oh. Alice, don't give up. We're going to have to rescue Alice from her predicament quickly. Oh no, Alice is... Chaz, let's do as Alice says and find this person called Rune. We'll need the Land Rover to cross the quicksand. Let's find the Machine Center. It's located south of the village of Krupp. Let us go there quickly, but first we do need to rest up, because we did use uh, some of our abilities when we were fighting Zeo. Or rather, when we were... Utali tried to attack Zeo. How much will it cost? 60 Masetta. Perfect. We do have lots of money. We need to uh, replenish all of our supplies pretty quickly, though. We can do that later. For now, we're going to head down to the south, like we were told to. Down here. Arise, futuristic structure. Arise! Yikes! That scared me! You could see it from all the way over there? That's a long distance. Please, feel free to enter. Oh, we will! This is the Machine Center. Let's go in! Let's grab this free loot! A control key, I've no idea what that does! I think that healed us, so using me in, rather pointless. Let's go in! This place is still alive! It has become independent from Seed and Nervous. A lot of other machines are housed here, but they haven't been used for a long time. They probably need some repairs. I have no idea what these machines are, but this is some place. You're pretty adept at handling these machines. Were you caught by Zeo while you were trying to get the system back under control? Yes, that's right. Zeo is very violent. Understatement of the century! Very funny. Defeating Zeo is not going to solve the problem. What? Isn't the system being out of control a result of Zeo's doing? No. The real cause of the problem is that Zeelan has been issuing abnormal commands. 
Impossible. Not Zeelan. Zeelan. What's that? I feel out of the loop. Oh yes, you do not know of this. Zeelan is the central control for the Algo star system's environmental maintenance systems. It's an orbiting station on the other side of Matavia. Wow! How are we going to get there? First, let's think about defeating Zeo and stopping Nervous. Yeah, you're right. It's not enough just defeating Zeo? If that's the case, this makes me worry about... Dark Force. I have got it working now. Don't worry, it'll be alright. I'll start the Land Rover up. Let's go outside. It will be waiting. Off we go! Oh, this music! Look at this luster! This massiveness! What a functionally beautiful design! Don't you find it just fascinating? Oh, uh, yes! Oh my, this thing is fast! Also, we can get out of it by going to the uh, menu, and I imagine it is an item that we have to use. Where is it? There it is! We have a Land Rover! And so, when we come back, folks, we will be using the incredibly fast and nippy Land Rover to make our way over to where the quicksand is, and go to the Ladea Tower, for we need to catch up with Rune quickly. Maybe what Rune was doing was somehow related to Zeo. Maybe. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Hold on just a little while longer, Alice. Please. You're the protagonist of the game! You can't die! You're too awesome! You're far too awesome. Later.